Hello Sunflowers, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for today's video. I'm going to be doing my first college grocery shopping vlog. We're gonna go get ourselves stocked for the new semester. This is always my favorite grocery shopping trip and least favorite because it's really expensive but I also get to just like look through everything because I literally have a completely empty fridge and pantry and start from scratch and I can meal plan and do everything that I want to do like without any ingredients that I need to use up. Now, if you haven't watched all my other apartment videos, I do live in a very tiny apartment that doesn't have a kitchen this year. So I have an air fryer, I have a toaster, I have a fridge, but I don't have like a stove top or oven. So I do have to find ingredients and things that are really easy to make, which is honestly how kind of how I eat anyway, especially during the school year when life gets busy and crazy. But really quick before we hop into the video, I also wanted to thank today's sponsor, LifeWit, for working with me. I have worked with them so many times before. Literally, they've helped me organize my entire home. I use them in my last apartment. I'm using them now. I got the most amazing little lunch box and also fridge organizers to use in my new life in my new space which I am so excited about so I'm gonna really quick cut to a clip showing y'all what they sent over and then I'll pop back in all right y'all so we jumped up to my room to show y'all these amazing life with refrigerator organizers I'm gonna have the information here on the screen and down below these are going to be absolutely perfect to organize with and I'm just gonna be so excited because nothing's more aesthetic than like a Pinterest looking fridge all right let's skip to my house back at home where I have the lunchbox that I'm gonna be using and I'm really excited to show you guys like how much I can fit in it. It's such a nice size. All right, y'all, so popping in from my parents' house, I have my lunchbox here. This is perfect for everyday little school use. I love that it's insulated, has this little top piece. You can add a strap to it if you want as well and it is such an amazing size for all the snacks. So say I'm packing to go head up to campus for a day, put all my essentials in there. And you have a perfect little packed bag. These little pots, spots on the side, I love to put little snacks to eat. In between my classes, it has this front pocket, which is super nice. And I also love to hold it with these candles if I'm not using these. So definitely recommend this lunch box. Thank you, LifeWit. All right, so that is all of the amazing LifeWit pieces. And I'm also gonna be showing you guys, so we're doing a grocery shopping vlog together. I'm gonna do a college grocery haul showing you guys all these things that I got for my little new semester, which I'm really excited about. And then I'll also show you guys me organizing the fridge, which I think will be really fun because I love nothing more than fridge organization videos. I think they're so satisfying personally. I'm actually moving in today. If you guys haven't seen my college move-in vlogs that are up. Um, so basically that means that I might need a few extra things while I'm out. But we're gonna stick to groceries in this video. Let's get this fridge organized. Let's get my college semester ready to go. If you're new here, hi, my name's Grace and I'm happy you're here. Okay, let's go. All right, first stop for groceries. All right, first stop is like my favorite snack ever to get. So I'm gonna get some of this. All right, y'all, so this is the cart so far. I need to get like some basic like peanut butter, things like that that every time you move into a new place, you kind of have to start from scratch with. I'm looking at all the different types of coffee. Look how cool these look. These little classic, might be good. It's always so many types of granola bars to choose from. My favorite is like the Z-Bar brand. Then we have huge things of this kind though. I don't really want to get stuff to cook with just because it gets so messy, but all of these little fun flavors are so fun. I just needed to show you, but this is what the card's looking like. I always, always check the clearance section here because they always have lots of like fun different things to try and I love getting different things, but then it's like obviously the cheap version. Black coffee concentrate. They have so many Celsius flavors. I'm kind of tempted to try the Arctic one. I've never had it, even though I'm not really a Celsius girl, I'm more of an Alani new girl. They also have like giant packages, which is kind of nice. All right, y'all, so update. I have all the groceries in the car. I had to put them in the passenger seat because the back of my car is full of moving supplies that we haven't unpacked yet. But I had to run across the street to the other grocery store. This one's a little bit more expensive, so I don't like prefer to get my bulk stuff here. But I did forget cream cheese and I need the chicken that they were sold out of. And I need protein and yeah, protein type stuff for my workout things. I didn't buy any of that at Walmart because they were sold out, which makes sense because everyone's moving back to town right now. So Walmart's gonna be like kind of empty just because it's affordable groceries. But yes, let's go get this stuff and then we can go home and use my life for organizers. I'm so excited. So yes, let's see what, Walgreens always has like aesthetic looking food but I have to remind myself that it may be aesthetic but it is expensive and I shouldn't buy it. So let's try to stick to the list and see how we do. Okay, I'm super excited because I wanted to try Alani Protein and they had it on super sale, so it's the same price as the stuff I normally get. I'm checking out the different protein bars. I like that they sell them like individually here. This complete cookie is super good. This is my favorite flavor, the snickerdoodle one. 
Also, this packaging always gets me, but these actually aren't my favorite flavor. They're a little bit chalky, but like packaging, Alani gets it every single time. I think I might get some complete cookies to eat when I go work out. So update time, I just got home from both grocery stores. I'm pulling all the little bags over here to do the haul. We're gonna do a haul of all the items and then I'm gonna get all the new storage bins out and we are going to, no, it was my hands. We're going to organize things together. So yes, stay, bear with me with like the backgrounds and stuff in these first few videos in this apartment. I don't have my ring lights here yet and I'm kind of just like slowly getting this together. So yes, let's just do this in a random order. To start off, I got a six pack of Alani News. I got the blue slush flavor. This is my favorite. I am such a midday slump person. I have to take naps every single day from like two to four time. And I'm not gonna have time to do that during the school year. I have time for that in the summer. So during the school year, I have to drink these. Even though I don't love the thought of drinking energy drinks, like those, these are the only flavors I actually like. The different Alani new ones are all good, except for, yeah, all of them are honestly really good. And then I also picked up my coffee. Y'all already know if you watch me, ever before on this channel because I always, I've been drinking this for like three years. It's the Caramel Macchiato International Delight Ice Coffee. So good. It literally tastes like you're getting coffee out. Okay, and then my first bag of groceries, I got a baby arugula and spinach blend. For some reason it was cheaper than just spinach. So I was like, okay, we'll try arugula. I got yum yum sauce. That's like the biggest thing with like moving into new spaces. You have to like start from the top with sauces and things. I love this on my rice, which I'm gonna try and have that for dinner every day. I got a thing of pulled rotisserie chicken um, for my salads. Came in this container. This is new and I was really excited about it because that's my favorite thing about like going out to eat and getting salads is the way the chicken tastes and this looks just like that chicken. So very excited. I got my Marzetti veggie dip light. This is my favorite to have with carrots or a little snack. I got my big thing of ranch. This is what I use on like everything else. Salads, chicken. This is my favorite dipping sauce literally ever. It's a Twisted Ranch Garlic Smashed Buffalo. If you have this where you live, literally try it. It's so yummy, I'm literally obsessed with that. And then I just got a pack of gum for going like to class and everything. I'm gonna have long school days this year and so I'll be able to like brush my teeth after lunch. So grab that. Next bag, I got three things of this microwavable rice. Kind of annoying because microwavable is definitely more expensive than you know rice is so cheap when you get it in like a giant box but i don't have a stove top so i'm gonna have to do these and i'm hoping to do this for like dinner every day because rice is like very filling and yummy so i just got the minute brand for the ones you can put in the microwave so that will be an easy little side for dinner and should be really fast to make i got a few different bars because two days a week i'm gonna be on campus from like 8 a.m. to like 5 p.m. So I'm definitely gonna need some snacks and I'm gonna be teaching fitness classes while I'm stuck up there. So I got these Bobo's peanut butter chocolate chip oat bites. These looked up my alley. I got these made good chocolate drizzled granola bars. I got like tiny boxes instead of getting, I was gonna get one bulk thing of the ones I usually get, but I figured I'd just get a few small ones instead to try a few new things. I got laughing cow cheese. Y'all saw me pick that up. That's my favorite snack to like get me through the day. Let's see, okay, another bag. I got mozzarella cheese, my favorite cheese for salads, thing of plain bagels, my mixed fruit blend. I have like a smoothie every day with this, turkey breast for sandwiches, and I got this thing of boneless chicken bites to make in my air fryer for just easy dinner. I thought those would also be good for like after nights out. I got like a few little monthly things for that, but I try not to cut out as much to save some money. Okay, then I have this, oh, I forgot to get hummus. I just realized that. I need to write that down because I got these for hummus, these stone fire non-dippers, literally my favorite food in the world. I have to like hold myself from eating one whole thing of this naan in one sitting. This dipped in like um, buffalo or garlic naan, everything bagel naan, so good. So I forgot that, I'll have to grab that next time I'm out. I got chocolate peanuts. I literally have to have something sweet after dinner. So I try to get this when I'm up at school to like have a few to like fulfill that craving because I just am really bad with craving sweets. I got one of these black cherry splash little waters. These are always super cheap and better for me than drinking soda. So grabbed one of those and grabbed some heavy perfume because I stay in the oven. Okay, and then another bag. Oh, we already did that one. Okay, this bag. I have lots of things going around me. I got croutons for salads, 
got these balance break cheese and cracker little bites because I'm gonna have to pack my food, like I said, so I thought I'd try that. I got, I'm trying like a few new things just because I'm not used to not having an oven for cooking. So I got these bite-sized potatoes that you can make in the microwave. So I'm hoping these can be like my side for like a week of dinners. We'll see. I feel like I would only have like a few each time. And I was just excited because I wanted to get baked potatoes and I remembered I didn't have an oven. So got that to try. Got carrots to pack my lunches with. And then this is my like really one super unhealthy thing I got. Um mozzarella sticks for when I have nights out because it is my senior year so I will be doing that um I feel like this will be perfect to come home and eat instead of stopping at my favorite Mexican place which always does call my name and I always am tempted to go there okay last bag from Walmart I got these Quakers pre-packaged food items um I figured these would be good for packing meals and also I just I don't have a pantry and I do live in an older place so I'm hoping to have like most of my food that doesn't go in the fridge be like sealed containers so I got these little rice cakes to kind of fulfill that chip craving Ritz crackers for my muffin cow cheese and I got these Z bars which are oatmeal cookie these are my favorite protein or not protein granola bars to eat literally ever okay and then we are on to few things I picked up at the other grocery store because I either forgot it at the first one or they were out. Okay, first I just got this Prairie Farms little half thing of milk because I use this in my protein shakes. And then I got a thing of normal chicken strips. I've never tried this Foster Farms brand before, but they were sold out at Walmart in a second store of my favorite kind. So I don't know, I thought this looks kind of yummy. So it takes to come, it tastes good, and I can make it in the air fryer and stuff. So figured I'd try it. Got cream cheese for my bagels, kind of like every day, favorite thing ever. And then, I'm so excited about this, I showed you this in the store, but I got the munchies flavor of the Alani New Protein. These are usually so expensive online, and they had it on like a really good sale. So if you live in like my college town area, or anywhere they have like a high V, maybe just see if you can get this on sale, because I'm trying to do protein shakes every single day that I work out this semester, because I'm determined to like take advantage of the fact that I'm gonna be like in a good gym routine and stuff, and so, yeah. So excited and then last thing I got besides a few beverage things is I got this creamer to try I usually just like use whatever creamers at my parents house and at school last year I just usually didn't buy it but I thought I would try a new one this is the nitro creamer from ready whip and I'm excited about this because it kind of is giving like sweet cream cold foam vibes which is literally the number one reason I'll spend money at Starbucks because I love sweet cream cold foam so very excited about that and the last thing I got at the store, i to crawl to grab it to show y'all, is this big thing of cherry limeade. Clear American Waters. These are so cheap. So if you like to have like a little flavor in your smoothie, there's literally like nothing in these. I've always bought the bottles and showed them in the on this channel, but I figured the cans would be better because they were sold out of the big bottles, but also um, I never finished them. And this will like make sure they're actually like fizzy because they're like half the size of a bottle. And it was like $4 for literally 12 So that is also the moment okay we are going to go organize the fridge and pantry area now i'm going to get my life with containers out and we're going to get to it sorry if lighting is kind of dark but like it's a little bit later in the day when i'm doing this but there's been a lot happening in the movie so we did what we had to do all right so i'll show you guys a little before and after of the fridge and freezer all i have in here right now is a bunch of these water bottles which i definitely need to organize better and my freezer just has my two ice trays nothing else in it also has like this nice little storage thing that comes with it but Yes, we are going to fill this up. I'm going to turn the light on because it's getting kind of dark outside. It's a little orangey, but bear with me. Like I said, I'm still trying to figure out how it's the lighting in this space. Okay, first things first with this little fridge organization. I'm going to use my first life whip bin to put um, water bottles that don't fit in the side door. And I have just so many and they're not going to always be there. So I am going to use like a door for some of them. We'll definitely run out of these. All right, POV y'all, you're in my fridge. All right, y'all, so we have my second little life whip bin, and I'm going to fill that up with my cherry limeade drinks. And then, yeah, I might, we'll see if I put all these in my fridge or not. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and just put some trays in there, and then I'll figure out what I'm going to fill them with. 
Also, y'all, this is just literally so much cheaper than like any other alternative to organizing your fridge because it can get so pricey um, to order a bunch of different little storage containers and these are super affordable, which is literally so nice because moving and organizing is so expensive usually. Okay, so we're going to tackle the fridge. I feel like something about, oh, I mean the freezer. Something about freezers, I feel like people's freezers is something that always gets like very messy and out of control. So I'm determined to keep this very clean and nice looking because it looks very good. So let's load this up. All right, y'all, so the freezer and the fridge is completed. I'm gonna give y'all a little final tour with my life with containers. It looks so cute. So this is when you open it. Tell me that's not like so satisfying, clean. I love like an empty to stock fridge. It's just, oh, it is the moment. So in my door, it's kind of the less organized part, but I have my waters up top. I have all my dipping sauces and then I have all my extra beverages to refill the stuff with just because obviously most containers come with more than like aesthetically fits. So it's just gonna be where the like refills of stuff go. I don't wanna put them under my bed just because I don't wanna keep extra cardboard in my room, but. Here is the actual fridge. I am obsessed. I think this is going to keep me so organized, clean, and it makes me want to eat healthy because it looks very satisfying. So up here, I have my coffee supplies, my waters, and my energy drinks. And then this bin has my meat, so I have my chicken and my turkey. This has all my little snacks in it. It has like cheese behind it to have for snacks, all my little dippers for hummus. I have all of my cherry limeade drinks, my milk, and this has my spinach and my carrots in it. These containers are the best too because you can pull them out. Literally so easy, so pleasing. I have like my little alcohol down here because I am 21. And then we move up to the freezer. I'm so excited, y'all. It looks so nice. So I have my more everyday stuff. So I have my little crispy chicken and my smoothie supplies. I have my bagels in the freezer just because I'm gonna be leaving for a few days and I don't want them to go bad. My ice cube trays and then in my door are my more like post going out snacks or like if any friends come over. I have my little buffalo chicken bites and mozzarella sticks for those occasions. So I am going to go ahead and end this first grocery trip video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it and check out the information down below from the sponsor. I had so much fun with it. Let me know if you want me to do like every single week or buy weekly grocery hauls and little shopping videos or like just if you want to see them every once in a while. And I'll see you lovely sunflowers in my next video. Ooh, baby, shampoo, come and save me. I've been missing